here's a Bee Branch construction update. So they started the work in early 2019. Um, they mobilized and, and started organizing their work at that time. We're going to be adding uh, six uh, eight-foot diameter uh, culverts to convey that additional water. In 2019, a lot of the work they did was uh, installing the shoring system. They had to install uh, systems that would hold the soil in place to make sure that the railroad tracks wouldn't be impacted by their excavation activities. They also had to install the dewatering system uh, so that when they do excavate into the, into the ground that you know they're not constantly dealing with water. They had to draw the water table down below where they're excavating to make that safe. In addition to that, upstream of, of the culverts that are going to go under the railroad tracks, they were able to extend box culverts um, that were uh, installed under Garfield Avenue as part of the Upper Bee Branch Creek Restoration Project. So they were able to install or extend those. They also did a lot of the uh, installation uh, of the uh, uh, soil stabilization system. And then once they had that installed, they were able to excavate out for what would be the launching pit and receiving pits for the tunneling itself. So that's uh, where they lower the machine in and start tunneling underneath the railroad tracks. So the launching pit, you know, is where they'll actually launch the machine into the into the soil and start tunneling. And then receiving pit is where they'll receive it and pick it up out of the ground. It has a cutting edge on the front that makes its way slowly uh, through. It'll take about 10 hours to install 20 feet. Um, so they figure they'll do one 20 foot section of pipe a day. But how that works is that that cutting head will go at that rate and slowly pull that pipe in behind it. And so once they get that first the, the one pipe in, then they'll stop the, the uh, uh, cutting edge, um, reconfigure, drop another pipe in, reset it up, and then continue on the process. The pipes themselves, um, they have a joint, and we, we are able to uh, utilize a, a pipe that actually is more like a typical concrete pipe ins installation where it actually has a gasket and you can push them together. And so they kind of marry up uh, as to a more of a, an easily formed joint. One of the things they had to do is there was a storm sewer underneath the railroad tracks uh, that dates, you know, decades old storm sewer that used to drain the 18th Pine Street area and that pipe went diagonally underneath these railroad tracks and then connected to the B Branch storm sewer. So one of the things with that system is, even though it's abandoned, and a lot of times we can just leave that in place or we can just fill it or we can excavate it out, but in this case, because of the railroad tracks, we couldn't do any of those things. And these tunnel machines, they can drill through rock, they can drill through some very hardy materials, but the, the storm sewer was reinforced concrete and the reinforced means it has steel in it. And that's one thing that could really create a problem for these for this tunneling machine. The contractor had to go in the, on the inside of the pipe to demolish that pipe, or at least the bottom part of the pipe that would be in conflict. The thing about that is, is you as you're demolishing the pipe, you are obviously getting rid of the structural integrity of the pipe, and you last thing you want is some sort of soil to fall down and, and collapse into the pipe itself. The work itself probably took a week and a half of what they actually did, but it took months to for everyone to be comfortable with the approach so that it was, that it was a safe approach. Another thing they did in, in 2020 here was they able to form those retaining walls that'll uh, uh, be on the, uh, I guess, the northeast side um, where, where the rail, where the, eventually the hike bike trail will kind of wind down and, and then go underneath the railroad tracks into what, what is now uh, the existing box culverts. So you can see that right now if you're on Garfield Avenue. Those uh, right now they're uh, a gray color um, because they're just poured concrete, uh, but they will be stained similar to what we've done in the Upper B Branch where um, they're they're made to look like the limestone of, uh, appearance, but they're actually just poured concrete. Um, but they get stained to look like the limestone retaining walls we have throughout town. Late fall, you know, they should have these tunnels installed. Um, and then uh, after that, the, then the real work is gonna be the staging to uh, build the uh, uh, transition structure. So as I mentioned, the tunnels will be going from the launching pit on the downstream side to the receiving pit on the upstream side. Um, and that receiving pit on the upstream side is also where the transition structure goes. And what transition is just, it's kind of where all the flow from upstream of the railroad tracks will come together before it then flows through these new culverts into the lower uh, section of the B Branch Creek. Uh, 